Hi, Mindy. Hi, Swami. It's come full circle. <laughs> I can't believe it. It feels like you make me feel like it's like home week. It's like nothing's happened in the past. I know, I know. It's years. all just a blur, and you're sitting here in front of me. It has been a blur. Yeah. Uh, crazy. It, 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 looking at your uh, timeline over the past <laughs> decade. It's been crazy. It, uh, do you ha do you actually reflect back on this stuff? I mean, you know, you've gone through the the rehab, the celebrity rehab. You've gone through all this stuff where they force you to think about and talk through some stuff. But when you look at what's happened over this past decade, do you just what does Mindy say to herself? Wow, <laughs> it's just a lot. There's been a lot of stuff happen. Everybody always asks me, you know, I, how do you deal with your life being so chaotic and so crazy all the time and you know, I think a lot of people out there wonder, you know, is it something that I bring on myself? Uh, but it's not. It's, it's stuff that just happens. It's always been like that. Since I was a young child, just crazy stuff always happens to me. I'm one of those people that attract... Chaos. Chaos. Or just things that are out of the ordinary to other people. My life has never been normal. It's never been boring. <laughs> so... It hasn't been boring to follow. Um, no, it hasn't. No, it hasn't. Um, but no, I look back and just see that I've grown up a lot. Um, you know, before I looked back and it was like, wow, I'm humiliated. I'm really ashamed of all the stuff I've gone through. And now I look and say, wow, I'm really proud of myself for surviving that and for being able to stand up and say, you know, I made it through some really tough times and I'm still here and I'm, I'm good. I'm good. I'm okay, I'm all right Hurricanes and train wrecks only last one night When you believe all I've been through At the hands of tempted fate Oh, if you only knew When I came to Nashville the minute that I had, you know, enough money to take care of two teenage boys, my brothers moved up here almost immediately mm -hmm. after I'd gotten a deal. And uh, so behind the scenes of everybody reporting, Mindy's this wild partying, Mindy's doing this, that was not it at all. I was a mother to mm -hmm. two teenagers. We were raising each other. I don't ever say that I was, you know, raising them. I say that we raised each other because I didn't know how to be a mother. and. Uh, you know, I said, I love you guys, and we're just going to all three do the best we can. And, <laughs> hey, we've made a lot of mistakes, and uh, we'll be the first to stand up. All three McCready's will be the first to stand up and say that we have messed up, probably bigger than everybody else. But, um, you know, we love each other, and we do care about each other more than anything. And where we came from and what we survived was pretty miraculous. And to this day, uh, my brothers are uh, my most proud accomplishment. Are my brothers are good men, and they're good men because of what I did. They're good men because of me moving them up here. They're good men because uh, I cared enough to take them out of a situation that was not right. And uh, they're, uh, <laughs> although they still drive me crazy and they're a pain in the, you mm -hmm. know what? Um, they're good boys. They're smart and uh, they're respectful, and I love them very much. So what it cost how I weigh what I got what I gain I'm still here after the heartache after the storm blew through it killed me and it saved me I've absolutely positively been a woman for the future my whole life. I've been a woman that wants to stand up for other women and wants to stand up for us being treated equally and I wanted to stand up for um, as a musician and in this town being a southern lady I wanted to stand up even taller. Mm -hmm. You know guys do it all the time. I was making fun of guys in that song. Uh, I wanted to sing the women's national anthem you know, I wanted to be one of those women because I was that woman. Mm -hmm. I was the girl that did stand up for myself and leave my household that was crazy in Florida and raise my two brothers. I did things that were worthy 
of being called a strong woman. I'm still standing right where you left me on a cold dark cloud with nowhere to fall but down like a single naked unrelenting team I'm still here There are so many things I could go back and that I could say if I had just done this differently um, gosh, there are so many things that I look back and go, if I had only made this decision, if I had only said this at that moment. But the fact of the matter is, that's really ridiculous for me to go back and think like that now because everything happened the way that it did for an, a very specific reason. There is not one moment that I can't trace back at this point in time. And know in my heart what the reason, whether it be painful, whether it be ugly, whether it be a stupid thing that I did, I now look back and know why it turned out the way that it did. It made me who I am today and I'm pretty proud of that. I'm pretty proud of who I am today and I could not have gotten here if I had made a lot of mistakes. There were times that I was sure I was drowning. And there were people who tried to reach me. But no matter how they loved me, I kept sinking. What's the driving force right now? What, what keeps you in the game? What keeps you hungry for this? I love to sing. I truly do love to sing. I love music. I love making music. I was born to do that. Um, you know, knowing and I mean really knowing before you even know what it means to know. I knew I was going to be a singer. I knew at three years old there was no doubt that I was going to sing my whole life. I can't imagine when people say to me, I, I don't know, I can't figure out what I want to do with my life. I can't figure out what I want to be. I have, that completely does not, I have no understanding of that concept at all. I've always known. So the love of music, the love of wanting to entertain, the love of people keeps me here. It always will keep me here. I'm still here after the heart. After the storm blew through and killed me and saved me, I'm still standing right where you left me. To all of those people that have said that all of the extracurricular stories out there, um, that that is my way of staying in the spotlight, is absolutely and totally bull. It is crap, crap, crap. Um, people need to stop and think before they say things, um, especially in dealing with the latest controversy. I have a son, people. Come on, you know. I've worked so hard to get things back on track. Um, there's none of this stuff. None of it, not one thing has ever been released on purpose or done on purpose to get immediate attention. The whole entire world has problems. Everybody has problems every day, all day long. Life is hard. Mm -hmm. Life is hard for everybody, especially right now. It's really hard. My life, when I have a problem, gets put on the news, gets magnified a million times over. And the problem that I really had and that people, the problem that is the truthful problem, people don't even get to hear that because of the whole story getting blown out of proportion by the time they actually hear it. Mm -hmm. So it's, you know, I'm not trying to be mean to these people, but I just wish they would think before they say things because I am a human being. I have a son. I love my son. I'm a woman. I care about, I care about what other people think of me. I do care. I care about the impression I make on young girls. I care, I care about what my son's gonna look back and see about all of this. It's a big deal. I care more than anything. 
um, the fact that people would actually think that I would go out there and try to draw negative attention to me is just absolutely ridiculous. It's ridiculous. I mean, it's really insulting. It truly is. I'm an intelligent woman, and I wouldn't do that, nor do I want it. Uh, you know, if people are going to talk about me, I wish they would talk about my singing. <laughs> you know? It's like everybody said in the beginning of my career. She's an amazing singer. She's a great singer. She's going to go down in history as one of the best singers, blah, blah. But, okay, we, then they stopped talking about that. And then it was just the media fascination over and over and over. And I honestly think that um, the media themselves have, have, they've really helped fuel create and create a bigger monster each time. Because if they didn't talk about the negative stuff and they didn't make it such an issue on one point, then the next one wouldn't be so big. Then the next one wouldn't be so big. It's a snowball effect. And you can't go backwards. People don't, people don't want to go from, uh, you know, they don't want to go from talking about me being an angel to talking about me going to jail. You know, the, the two, they just want to keep on talking about the bad. Right. Okay. So, you know, if they, I can't do anything about it. I can't, I can't stop the press. I can't make them want to talk about good things. The only thing I can do is be the best me I can be. And I'm doing it. On a cold dark cloud With nowhere to fall but down Like a single naked unrelenting team I'm still here You are amazingly strong to be sitting here in front of our camera. Sp spilling your guts. It's been an interesting ride to follow, and uh, thanks for thanks for sharing it. You are so welcome, and thank you for still caring and <laughs> wanting to, for me to share it. <laughs> it. I always love seeing you. You too. I'm still standing right where you left me on a cold dark cloud with nowhere to fall but down like a single naked unrelenting